What's up, beautiful people? I've just reached Manila Airport because it's time to go home. Guys, check this out. It was it's 13 kilos now. That was only 11 when I flew from Cebu the other day. That means I've had 2.5 kilograms of presents from people in Manila. That's crazy. Just like that, another month in the Philippines has flown by. I think we've had an incredible range of experiences this time around because not only did we start in Manila, decided to do a bit of a city trek. Manila madness, this is what I call it. It's far from ideal and it's about a seven kilometer walk. I met my good friend Sharon and I always say traveling with friends is super important and we absolutely smashed it. We saw so much. We went to Quran and explored the, the wonderful beaches of Palawan. with the uh, Big Dream Boatman Company and that was absolutely amazing. From there, we flew back to Manila and we used that as a base for a few days so we could go to the Sungi Geo Reserve, hike up a volcano, and then we headed further north and saw a, a different side to the Philippines that I hadn't seen before, which was the mountainous regions and the Batad Rice Terraces and the Banaue Rice Terraces were just absolutely incredible. I think we hit them at the perfect time because the colours were just so good. Getting to the waterfalls was so nice as well. On from there to Sagada, which I think Sagada is a place I will definitely go back to. And into the cave we go. I loved the inn that I stayed in. It had great views from the windows and the private rooms and it was really cheap as well with a lovely family. So I think I definitely, definitely want to go back there. And then from there, it, it took a little bit of a more chilled pace. I said goodbye to Sharon. Bye. I'm gonna miss you. Bye. I spent a few more days in Sagada, went back down to Manila and based myself there for a couple of days to do some work. And then went down to Malapascua and finished the trip with this amazing chill time on beaches and diving and seeing sharks and I think with having such a, a wide range of experiences it would be very hard for me on this trip to pick one specific place or one specific thing that I did that was so good and that stands out as being the best because I've had so many good experiences. What I will say is diving with Thresher Sharks in Malapascua. That was definitely the best dive of my life. I haven't done an incredible amount of diving, but it was so nice to see Antoine again. And to dive and see so many thresher sharks was just... That was an out of this world experience. It really, really was. Kind of feels like it's flown by like I'm definitely ready to go home not so ready for this journey but it feels like I've had a really good and varied trip in a different way to the last trip but still just this epic montage of Filipino fun <laughs> not only that but holding the meetups and getting to actually properly interact with you guys who watch the videos What's up? Really get to know you better. That 
that has to probably be maybe I think I would say that is the highlight of my trip actually getting to meet you guys and like I said after the first meet up I really felt like that was the, the pinnacle of my YouTube journey so far words cannot describe just how much it means to me I feel like today has been one of the well it's probably been the pinnacle of my entire YouTube career and it's really touched me but as more than that it's probably been one of the highlights of my entire life and i just want to thank you so much for that because that was just incredible but for now i'm gonna get on with this journey i think it's something like another 40 hours until i'll be home it involves a plane a 13 hour layover another plane a bus a wait a walk a train another walk something like uh, uh. not looking forward to this 13 hour layover but something great might be about to happen apparently because my flight's tomorrow I have to fill out this little card and I may be able to get a free hotel I have to wait here first and then we'll find out Great, they even gave me a little a little map of where to go. Great stuff, a lot of people are knocking China Southern, but right now this seems like a very good deal to me. Free hotel, here I come. Yeah, off to London, so, and then back to Birmingham. How about you? Yeah, hotel? Oh, perfect. Yeah, choose one. Which is the best one to choose? Bangor, Vienna, Airport Express, Oh, I... this is great. Surely we got time for a quick KFC. I have no idea how much any of this is. Just gonna have to hope for the best. One of these, please. They don't accept card. Makes me very sad. And right now I've got my own personal guide Hi. to take me. <laughs> to take me to where the shuttle bus goes from. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're Let's see what we got then. <laughs> oh 
Have I got a suite or something? I have. I have my own lounge area here. <sighs> Guys, I'm going to give you a little room tour. Check this out. So, we have bathroom number one. Just as you arrive, in, in, in case you just can't wait to go to the bathroom, we've got bathroom number one. Walk through into the, the suite area that we've got here, complete with sofa, chair, television. Got a little area to make your teas and coffees here. And then we've got a massive bed, another chair, a workstation, and a second bathroom. A second bathroom with all of this for me for free now that is insane I do really like the look of China from what I saw uh, from, from the window of the car but it doesn't look like there's much around the area where this hotel is and it's currently about 11 o'clock and I have to be up at 5 something to get back and go to the airport but I'm going to make the most of this big bed here. It's a shame, it's a real shame that I can't go out and explore and it doesn't look like there's anything nearby, but I have no money, I'm super tired, and this bed just looks really inviting. But what a day. I am so, so glad that I got this for free and I'm going to get at least a few hours of good sleep. Anyway, I am going to finish this one up here. I'm going to drink my tea and go to bed for a few hours, so thank you so much for watching. Big love. It feels very good around here.